Welcome back. After five years under the radar, she might now be unknown to many. But Kim Hamilton had made quite a contribution to the Vibes Cartel Gaza catalog before her sudden disassociation from that camp in 2010. Formerly Gaza Kim, the artist says she was blacklisted after parting ways with the world boss, but is now coming out of the woodworks and pushing forward with her career. Kim, our very special guest right now, right here on stage. Kim. I'll go out in front. Bless. I'm blessed. Are you? Well, that's just so, you know. Good. You have a life, though. Bless. Nice. <laughs> Welcome. All right. So what should we call you now? Well, my name is Kim Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Musically, K-Y-M Hamilton. That's what I'm working with. But you don't know the fans, them stick to the Gaza Kim. Them call me all type of thing. Gaza Kim, Kim No Behavior, Kim Alliance. You see mm -hmm. every group I'm go, the name stick on to me. So the name is Kim Hamilton, but call me your what? So Gaza Kim is still in, <laughs> in the works. Is it still relevant? Yeah, they still call me that. OK. So if I say Gaza Kim, please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, OK. Let, so it, were you really in exile? Were you like in, in exile? In hiding? Well, I, was, I'm, I wouldn't say I was hiding because I still go to studio. I still do my work and everything. But mm -hmm. it's just that the producers, they're not paying me any mind. So I wouldn't say I was hiding. I'm still here. Oh, you, so you mean um, you, that's what you meant by blacklisted? Yeah, basically that's blacklist. Yes. Mm. So no producer now produce now nah, nah, work with you. From the thing go down, it's like no producer no want to work with me. I don't know why when we do them, but them no want to work. From the from the thing go down. Yeah. What do you mean by that? From the thing that happened at Vibes Cartel Camp, mm -hmm. the beaten. From that they don't want to work with me. I don't know why. So you were actually beaten. Yes, I was beaten. By who? Four ugly man. That's all I can say, four ugly man beat me. Were they brought to justice? No, I know. I guess they still run up and down in the streets now. But I just have a thank God for me day here and me have life. I was hospitalized because I was very traumatized because I was, um, it's the first a man ever put them on for me and it was like that. So mm -hmm. I was hospitalized for a while. And How long were you in the hospital? Maybe about a week or so. So you're... Your disappearance from music wasn't because of fear or anything. It was what? No, it wasn't because of fear. It's because they blacklist. The blacklist. They're, they're not playing my songs. And after what happened, I think that um, these people would give me sympathy, but their sympathy is not working with me. So, mm -hmm. so, 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 all right. So that has changed. You're saying now. Is that why you're coming back now? That, that the situation has changed for you. It is still happening. Still, you're still blacklisted? Yeah, I'm still blacklisted. So I couldn't tell when I hear a song from me on the radio. Okay, so, but you have some songs now? Yeah, I have songs. And every, they know that I'm very talented. So, so who are that. the people producing you now? Well, all right, I did a song called No Behavior and Worries With Him for Left Side. Left mm -hmm. Side, Big Up Yourself. Um, and I did a song with Kip Rich called Tired I Up and DJ Fast, Fast With Him. Go on bad with him. And okay, so those are the people you're working with now? Yes, and Brick Fence production. The media blacklisted you too? Basically, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So radio station I play because of what? Because of the thing that happened with Cartel, I don't know. I don't know what is the problem, but they're just not playing the songs. Okay. Mm -hmm. What were you accused of doing? Why you were beaten? Well, on the day that I was there, um, I heard that my, my infant pan the boss, that's all them say. When them lick me, them keep on the pan say, you infant pan the boss, you infant. And all me ask, when me infant say, nobody na say nothing. Oh. Mm. So you've, you've got some records that you've done now. Yes. What would you say to those listening, those in radio, those in media generally, about um, giving, you, giving you a shot? giving a fear shake in the, in the base? Well, what I would say to them, Winfred, I am very talented. Yes. And Jamaica and the world know that. I have a big, 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 big mouth. They know that I'm talented, so they just need to give me back my spot in a dance hall. Mm -hmm. They don't have to take my spot just like that. Come in, I do not have to take away. Uh, what did you achieve as Gaza Kim? Well, people knowing me, a lot of people knowing me. Um, respect. 
Yeah, because everywhere I go and perform, well, I don't get shows in Jamaica, you know, straight up. Like when I go overseas, like I do mostly Caribbean shows. I've been to England once. When I go to the Caribbean, I get a lot of love. When I say love, Crazy there's a love. lot of love I yes. get from Caribbean people, respect. So that is what I gain from music. Okay. And you're going to perform for us yeah, man. some of your new tracks. Yeah. And to sort of give our viewers a, a, a taste of where you are now. Yeah. But first of all, I want to go back to who you were before Gaza Kim. Well, before Gaza Kim, I was just a normal little girl mm -hmm. going to school. Um, in what the community? Choirs. Um, Christian Penn. Christ I was born in Marilee in Kingston, but mm -hmm. I grew up in Christian Penn. Portmore, Gregor Park area. Okay, and you were on the church choir? Yes, I was on the church choir, um, school, Ascot High School, Big Up On Herself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I entered various competitions like Rising Star, Tasties, Magnum. Um, I've been to festivals, JCDC festivals. I'm always this person that is very active when it comes to music. Music okay. just can't bore me none at all. How did you get on the church choir? Were you a good Christian girl? Or, <laughs> or were you just so talented they had to pull you in? Well, I wasn't a, a Christian, but I, I always go to church. Oh, you weren't a Christian? I wasn't a Christian. But, but could, can a non-Christian be a part of a choir? Yeah. Oh, really? You don't have to be a Christian okay. to be on a choir. I just thought, you know, that the choirs... The choir members are all Christian. No, right? you don't have to be Christian. Forgive me, that's how much I know about church. <laughs> okay, so what were you thinking about doing or, or as a career um, while attending all school? All right. Um, I mean, I know if money in a, yeah, money is supposed to be in an art, you know. I love drawing. Yes. So when I was going to high school, I was mostly doing art and craft and mm -hmm. so on. And one day I had music class and the music teacher said to me, say, him want me to sing, Mr. Taylor, and I sing the song. And it's like him decides, say, hey, you need to come to choir rehearsal later. And normally when you go to the choir, you have to sing, and the kids them judge if they want you on it. But nobody never had to judge because they've done hear my big mouth already. So we <laughs> just reach for choir. And from that, I've been a part of Ascot Choir. Yes. So you, have you worked anywhere? I've never worked a day in my life. You've never taken a job. <laughs> I always, always um, tell my mom that I would love to see what it feels like to work for people, but the chance just never came. It never came. So music is full time. Music is full time. And though your career has been uh, derailed, so yeah. to speak, you're still believing that music can give you a reasonable God gave career. me this talent, so I guess this is the way out. Okay. Let's pause a bit and take a bit, a piece of your music right now.
right, just the taste of the music of Kim, formerly Gaza Kim. So, so Kim, that's a, that's a track um, about guns out. Yeah. Um, what is it saying? Basically, it's just talking about the violence and you know the the things that people go through daily. So, mm -hmm. yes, I send cross message as an artist for coming out so people will listen. Okay. So the, the tracks that you're going to perform for us later, are they, or do you, how do you de describe them? Um, are they tracks like this, social commentary, or are they more sexual and, and bag of things? Well, a bag of things, you know, because I don't know, so I have Jamaica and the world know, say I am very versatile. I don't only sing dancehall, I don't only sing reggae, but I do R&Bs as well, mm -hmm. and yeah. All right. Do you have your own family now? No, I'm not a pit mm -hmm. Are you on the market? Hmm? Are you are you on the market? Which market? <laughs> the the singles market. <laughs> the singles market came. Are you available for males to come after you? And make their pitches? Well, wow, what a lot of ways we have to put it. You know, okay. there's somebody. That's why you're so crazy about it. But maybe it's not know. what it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right. You know what well, yeah. Make, Let's leave them hanging on that one. Let them come searching for you. Come to your concerts and what of you. Life's cartel. Have you spoken to him since? Well, from me leave the group, I don't see him back, you know. You don't see him since? No. What would you say to him if you should get a chance to talk to him now? Well, I would tell him to just um, kneel down, have a personal conversation with him father, and you know, try to see if things will work out, because I don't know him have an appeal that come up. So him just need to pray and see if things will turn for him way. So you have sympathy for him? Yeah, but nobody no want their jail. Mm -hmm. Me no want their jail. I'm in love road, so. <laughs> so, my dear. Thank you so much for coming. Thank but we're you not for done with, me. with you yet. You're going to perform for us yeah, later on. Yes, and I just want to big up Kiprich, No Behavior, the old No Behavior Army. I would like to big up Tamuchi's boutique and accessories, some outfits, and uh, you don't know the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to big up my mother, my father, yeah. I want to big up everybody who in our studio, yeah. Big up my sister Sandra, yeah. Sniper, England. Big up Woi Woi. Big up Rona Back to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the, at the body language, the attitude, that thing. Man, <laughs> thank you so much. Kim. Thank you so much for coming right here and, and opening up to us. All right, there you have her, Kim, in this segment of our show. Stay with us when we come back. Dexter Duffs and later. Hmm. We never ask them if you watch your body for me that me I tell them I'll bend them say six man do they 